hurts. I held my stomach and collapsed onto the floor from the chair. It all felt strange from the beginning. Ever since my husband offered me a brownie with a huge smile on his face, he had become increasingly indifferent to me after our marriage, but suddenly became very kind recently. Ignoring me laying on the floor, he left the house without calling an ambulance. If only I had realized this before it came to this. Just kidding. He is really a stupid man. Ah. <sighs> I sighed and looked at the front door. In fact, I saw through all of my husband's plans, and his silly acting. Humming a tune, I took out my cell phone and made a call. How dare you betray me! Now it will be your turn to despair. Well, I guess you won't be able to get away with acting this time. The story goes back a little while. I am Paige, an ordinarily working housewife. I got married to Bryce, whom I met through work six years ago. I fell in love with his ability to work vigorously and his refreshing smile. However, although my husband is capable of working, he is easily influenced by others' opinions, and often changes his mind when convinced. In short, my husband is a troublesome person. Since he does not participate in household chores, I mainly do them. Balancing work and housework is quite challenging, but I enjoy my busy days. I think I am enjoying our lives reasonably well. We do not have any children. I feel fulfilled in my current job and would be happy if we naturally have a child. My husband and his parents respected my feelings. We agreed to work together until the day a baby comes to our family, and we have been saving money ever since. We finally purchased our dream home last year. Which allowed us to focus more on work. I am working hard to save money, while repaying our housing loan. And at the same time, I have a side job that I don't often discuss with people. In my free time, I provide online counseling for people with problems. At first, my income was small, but as I gained experiences in counseling, the number of consultations gradually increased. Which helped me save money. However, my husband seems to think that this is just his wife's whimsical way of earning pocket money. Even if you say you're making money, it's probably not that much anyway, right? Sometimes he says things that belittle it, but it's okay. I enjoy my side job because it makes me happy to help someone. Anyway. I had been living like that every day, but one day, I began to feel that something was off with my husband. It was around that time when he suddenly became obsessed with Fan Shui. My husband, who had never been interested in Fan Shui before, started placing lucky charms all over the house, and walking around busily to rearrange furniture. We need to put a potted plant in this corner, and change the furniture placement. My husband began to say things like that: crystals that predict the future, lucky cat figurines, and jars for a good fortune started piling up. I felt something was unnatural about it, and asked my husband why he was doing it. Hey. You seem to be really into lucky charms lately.、Y、yeah, well, it's just for fun, you know. But why all of a sudden? You never showed much interest in our house before. Well, you know, since we bought this house, I thought you'd be happy if we made it more comfortable and increased our wealth with these kinds of charms. My husband answered. Looking a little flustered and a little irritated, 
I didn't want to argue with him or make him angry by giving too much of my opinion. With me not questioning him, my husband didn't become more irritable, and the situation calmed down. However, there were other things that worried me. After a while, my husband stopped buying Lucky Charms. But from then on, he started to treat me very kindly. My husband, who had hardly helped with household chores before, started helping me like a different person. Moreover, he started to pay more attention to me. Whoa, dinner looks delicious. I bought this for you today. What do you think? My husband started buying my favorite sweets on his way back from work. His behavior changed so much that I felt even sick. Then, I suddenly thought of the divorce consultations I had received in my counseling work, and a certain doubt came to my mind. Could my husband be cheating on me behind my back? My husband's behavior seemed to perfectly align with the actions of a husband who has concealing an affair, which was consistent with what I had heard during my counseling sessions. And at times like this, a woman's intuition undoubtedly works. While feeling a sense of anxiety bordering uncertainty, I hired a private detective to monitor my husband's behavior. The results arrived at my doorstep within a few weeks, and they were just as I had expected. It turned out that my husband was consistently visiting a woman named Nina, who was famous as a beautiful fortune teller. Moreover, the report revealed that he was having an affair with Nina, in addition to receiving her feng shui fortune telling. All the feng shui goods in her house were things he had bought at Nina's urging, and the amount spending on them was several thousand dollars, as far as I could tell. No way! He spent that much money on these things? And he even used our savings that we worked so hard to save up for a future family car and our children's needs. This is such a ridiculous way to use our money. I'm in shock. And then, to make things worse, another shocking fact was revealed. I started the messaging app on my husband's phone while he was sleeping to gather evidence of his affair. To my surprise, I found out that Nina had been coaxing my husband to steal my savings. There was a plan to use a dubious substance called holy water that apparently makes people do whatever she wants them to do. She even wrote that it cost $900 for one bottle. It seems like she was planning on making me drink it and get me to agree to give my savings to my husband. And foolishly, my husband believed in Nina entirely and didn't see anything wrong with it. I want to cut tie with Paige as soon as possible and live with you, Nina. Just the two of us. I found a message like that and shivered. My husband, who had been completely indifferent to household matters until then, suddenly started helping out with chores and buying things I liked on his way home from work. It was all because Nina had instructed him to do so, to smoothly carry out their plan. I felt anger rising inside me at how foolish my husband was. I had worked so hard for a future life together, and he was secretly considering something like this. I would never let them get what they wanted. If they did something to me, I would just do it back to them. From then on, I rushed around collecting evidence for my revenge. I saved screenshots of the messages, of course, but also 
hidden bugs and small surveillance cameras that Nina had secretly placed around our house using her lucky charms. It seems that Nina had been using information from these bugs and cameras to make my foolish husband trust her. To keep my husband off guard, I pretended that everything was normal and continued our daily life, leaving the bugs and cameras where they were. Of course, I also investigated Nina herself, a fortune teller who didn't seem like an ordinary woman. Alongside my investigation into the infidelity, I continued to investigate her identity. Under Nina's guidance, my husband planned to separate from me all these days. Now that I knew the truth, I decided to take advantage of my husband's willingness to help and continue to act like a good wife until the day of the plan's execution. Honey, it seems like a new cake shop has opened in the neighboring town. I want to try it out. Oh, I can't seem to tidy up my closet. There are heavy things that won't go away. Hey, babe. I want to clean the exhaust fan, but I can't reach it. Every time, my husband happily helped me out saying, Sure, no worries. Let me do it for you. I took advantage of this act and used it to execute the plan. Finally, the day for the plan arrived. I was honestly excited when I found out the date through his exchanges of messages with Nina. As planned, my husband brought my favorite brownies on his way home from work. Hey Paige, you liked brownies, right? I heard about this famous long-established shop, so I bought some. Wow, thank you. I'm so happy you remembered my favorite. Although I thought it was a bit forced, I showed more joy than usual for my husband's souvenir. Of course I remember. I also bought some tea and mineral water recommended by the shop manager. It goes well with the brownies, they said. My husband takes out the planned items from his shopping bag with a proud look on his face. Oh, so this is the so-called holy water, huh? I can't believe he actually wants to make me drink such a suspicious thing. He really doesn't care about me anymore. I watched my husband with a half-dumbfounded smile as he eagerly helped dinner prep. Seeing my foolish husband excited to carry out his silly plan made me realize that my remaining feelings for him had disappeared. And after dinner, my husband's eyes were filled with expectations and nervousness as I prepared brownies and tea for dessert. Of course, I will enjoy the brownies, but there is no way I will just obediently drink the tea. While my husband was taking a shower, I secretly switched the suspicious portion with a different bottle. Unaware of this, my husband watched intently as I drank the tea. All right, it's showtime. I have to do my best. I said action to myself in my mind and began my plan. It, it hurts. I held my chest and rolled around on the floor. Then I exaggerated my suffering and pretended to faint with my eyes open. My husband turned pale when he saw me like that. P -p Paige, what's wrong? Oh no, this is different from what Nina told me. This wasn't supposed to happen. My husband started to panic in a ridiculous way. But he quickly left the house without checking on my condition. What a hopeless idiot. I muttered to myself. And once I confirmed that my husband was gone, I immediately called the police. 
I had more than enough evidence, including bugs and cameras I found in the charms, a video of our conversation at today's dinner, and the holy water that he planned to drug me. These became evidence, and my husband and Nina were arrested soon after. I also had screenshots of his messages with Nina, so they couldn't deny anything. I decided to divorce and demand compensation based on this evidence. Of course, I had already added the amount of money that my husband had embezzled. And later, I found out that Nina was not only a fake fortune teller, but also a marriage swindler who had deceived many men. Moreover, the face that my husband was infatuated with was all obtained through plastic surgery. When my husband was shown her pre-surgery face during the interrogation, he shouted, It's a fraud! How say you, Nina? He made the detective in charge bewildered. I even felt pity for him being such a loser. Since I started earning more money through my counseling job than my main job after divorcing my husband, I quit my job at the company. I plan to sell the house where I used to live with him, as it's just a reminder of our memories. With the money from selling the house, I will start preparing for my new life. I'm looking forward to having a luxurious new house with the generous amount of compensation I'll receive from my ex-husband and Nina. I don't know if love or marriage will come to my life again, but I don't want to live a life belittle others, no matter what happens. Although my ex-husband caused me pain, I am now happier than before. Today, I will face forward and live my life for myself and for my clients who are struggling with their own problems.